Welcome back. Amanda Nybert is a registered dietitian on a mission to help people get healthy. She got to share her message on a national stage in a TEDx talk called The Number One Reason Why Dieters Fail. So there's actually TED events that are um, presented all over the world, you know, every month. And um, so you actually apply to these events and uh, you hope to be selected, you know, based on what their topic is and, and what you have to present. Um, I was actually chosen in March of 2020 to uh, present and then the pandemic happened and all the live events were canceled. And then um, throughout the next couple of months, I continued to kind of submit my applications, but all of the um, events were virtual and I really wanted to be on the stage. So I kind of held out and in January, I got the um, opportunity to get through the first round, second round, third round of interviews and was selected to be on the Grand Canyon stage. So it was awesome. Your message was why dieters fail. How did you choose that as your topic and what was your message? So I've been a registered dietitian for the last 20 years and, and, I, and, and I figured it out. <laughs> you know, why most people struggle with long-term weight loss success and that is the all or nothing mindset. You know, we focus on being perfect and we think that we have to be perfect to be successful. And um, when we struggle and we slip up, instead of seeing the value of doing something, most people just choose to do nothing. And so it's that kind of starting and stopping um, that makes it so hard to, again, see that consistency that we need for the long-term success. What advice would you give to people who are watching this segment and are part of that group that have tried and failed and just can't, you know, find that success that they're looking for in good health? Yeah, so my three takeaways from my talk with regards to breaking the all or nothing mindset was number one, practice progress, not perfection. I love to implement an 80-20 approach where 80% of the time I'm fueling my body based on the way I wish to feel and the results I aim to achieve and 20% of the time I'm living my life with zero remorse or regrets around the foods and, and activities that I'm choosing. Um, and that again, creates consistency. Number two, you gotta drop the might as well thinking. Let me give you an example. So you, you come into work, there's a box of donuts, you try really hard to resist because donuts don't align with your current health goals, but you end up having a few. And for so many that turns on the might as well thinking, well, might as well have pizza for lunch, nachos and beer for dinner, because I've already blown it for the day. And in reality, those couple of donuts first thing in the morning did not make or break your success. It's what you did after those donuts that potentially will. And number three, just recognizing that it's always about doing something. You don't have to do it all. You just have to do something. So when you're feeling overwhelmed and, and can't, you know, kind of put all the pieces together, pick one thing to focus on for the week to come. And if you find yourself building on those small goals over and over, you'll see success. Where can people find out more about you and learn more of your tips? So I am super active on social media, probably the most on Instagram. So follow me there, but you can also check out my website, amandanibert.com.